Hello, I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro, professor in the Department of Family and Community Medicine at the University of Toronto, and I sit on the Board of Trustees of the North American Menopause Society. I'm joined by Dr. Michael McClung, who also sits on the Board of Trustees of the North American Menopause Society. He's a clinical endocrinologist with a special interest in osteoporosis. He's director of the Oregon Osteoporosis Centre in Portland. So let's talk about patients who are on medication for osteoporosis and the idea of a drug holiday. Is there a finite time where we should be thinking about this patient should be coming off this medication? That's a, a common and an important question. So the, first, the purpose, of course, of drugs to treat osteoporosis is to reduce the likelihood of fracture. That happens quickly when treatments are started, within several months, and then the treatment effect continues as long as, as therapy is, is maintained. The American Society for Bone and Mineral Research, our scientific society, earlier this year published a white paper suggesting that after three to five years on bisphosphonate therapy, specifically bisphosphonates, that a drug holiday or a temporary interruption be considered in patients who at that point are at modest risk for fracture. For patients who are at high risk for fracture, it's suggested that a drug holiday not be considered. The uh, guidance about how to identify those patients was given. Patients who would not be candidates for holidays after three to five years would be patients whose hip uh, bone density T-score value is still in the osteoporosis range or in patients who have had a prior history of a spine or hip fracture or patients who have had another type of osteoporotic fracture within the last two to three years. For those patients, the risk of fracture is still high enough to warrant continued therapy. What about a patient who's on a monoclonal antibody such as denosumab or prolia, or a patient who's on a CIRM? Um, what about those patients? Now, the, the, the drug holidays don't in any way apply to, to those drugs. Uh, bisphosphonates are unique in their pharmacology in that there's a very slow off effect. Uh, it appears that after having been on therapy for th three or four or five years with bisphosphonates, that the protection from fragility fracture goes away quite slowly uh, and is maintained for a year or two. In contrast, when denosumab is stopped, the effects on bone remodeling go away very quickly and within months of missing a dose of denosumab, fracture risk goes back to the pretreatment level. Uh, so there is no justification for a drug holiday from non-bisphosphonate drugs. So for a patient who has a drug holiday on a bisphosphonate, how then would you follow them up? So, uh, probably in the same way that we would follow patients on therapy. So uh, after a year or two, uh, uh, that's the appropriate interval for a drug holiday then to reevaluate the patient, including measurement of bone density and review of their clinical risk factors. If bone density has decreased while off therapy, that's justification for restarting therapy. E even if bone density has remained stable, if a patient still meets the criteria for treatment, after two years of being off therapy, it would be appropriate to consider restarting one of the other, one, one osteoporosis drug or another. Would you go back to a, bis a bisphosphonate uh, or would you consider moving out of the class? No one knows the right answer to that. Uh, uh, we look at the whole menu of treatment options and try to choose the one that's best for the patient. If the patient's hip bone density is quite low, then it's unlikely that restarting a bisphosphonate would help us accomplish our target and switching to a different drug like denosumab, which has been shown to have an incremental benefit on bone density in those patients, would be my choice. Thank you so much. Okay.